Oh, Sylvia Light. Well, she was my big sister. She was always elegant. She was always smart. She was witty. She was thoughtful. Ron and Sylvia were both teachers. Uh, Ron was a head teacher, and Sylvia eventually became a deputy head teacher. Their relationship blossomed, um, and they were married for 30 years before eventually Ron died. He was increasingly having problems with remembering things and was becoming more and more dependent. Sylvia eventually persuaded Ron to go to the doctor that there was a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, initially, I would say that she coped by being quite stoical. She just wanted to look after him. As, as when he was fit and well, he looked after her. Uh, Sylvia found the Alzheimer's Society through a friend at church who pointed her in their direction. I think it was very important to her to realise that at the end of a phone, there, were, there was support if she needed it. She had a very good friend called Sue. One day she was speaking to Sue and about Ron's Alzheimer's and she said to Sue, what can I do to keep my own mind active and alive and keep my own sanity? And Sue said to her, write a haiku, Sylvia. The, lo it, the logic behind it was a haiku is only three lines. The discipline of writing a strict haiku um, would concentrate her mind and take her out of the situation she was currently in, however horrible that current situation. She said, you know, you, you could produce my haikus and illustrate them and you could turn my haikus into a book. And so it took me a good 12 months really to bring those, that book together. And then she never saw it. Uh, she fell. And a few days, nine days later, she died in, in the local hospital. I, mean, I, I took the first draft copy to a bookbinding course with me. And as one of the ladies who saw that said, what a lovely way to cry, Glennis. And I think that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to turn a negative, which is the loss of my sister, into a positive. Amongst the legacies that she left, Alzheimer's Society being one of them, uh, and she, she, decided, she did it because of the support that she'd received from the carers' meeting she'd been to. And she hoped that that money that she donated would, could be used in some sort of thoughtful way, which is why I decided that some of the money that she left me should be devoted to promoting her book. And we worked out that if I sold the book for, for a given amount of money, that five pounds from each copy could be donated to Alzheimer's Society. And that that five pounds was a significant amount of money, being the amount that's needed to provide care for the Alzheimer's sufferer to allow the carer to attend an Alzheimer's meeting. I would encourage people to, to, to consider Alzheimer's Society as a beneficiary in their will or as a legacy because of the way I was dealt with. They have been helpful, supportive, uh, tactful uh, and very, very caring in asking those kind of questions. To quote one of Sylvia's haikus, a sharing of grief with a fellow traveller can lighten your load and I'd like the book to be a fellow traveller.